Yeah, I just think it's a huge step for Row LA because we're such a young team. And we're really small. I think we started in 2010, and so the first year we didn't even have any boats. So we've definitely come a long way in every year. I've been on the team for three years. Like every year we progress a little bit more and this is just the next step for the team. And hopefully next year we'll have more than just one boat come. And yeah, so it's a really big deal. We're rowing in a very tough region. The Southwest is arguably the toughest region in the country. So just to get here, I think is a big achievement. Um, I think their eyes are popping out of their heads to see the quality of the rowing of, across the country now. I mean, the, you know, I mean, every region is, is sending really strong boats here. So it's going to be a challenge just to get back here. Mm -hmm. um, but I think these girls will come back with um, tales of the level, the standards, the, the amount of training you have to put in, uh, the quality of the athletes here. Uh, and once I think you've made that little leap into nationals, then it makes the other girls on the team hungry to enjoy a similar kind of success. Uh, we've had a lot of support from US Rowing, uh, not only uh, financially in terms of uh, supporting the girls coming here, coming up to regionals. Uh, we have a girl who's just started uh, on the uh, national development, junior development team and US Rowing is helping to fund that too. So US Rowing has been a fantastic supporter of the whole. Well, Hamilton is definitely new. We started February 2015, and so that was our first spring. We had these athletes who hadn't trained over the winter, so it was kind of a beginner spring. And then this is the first time that we've had them through the whole season. So I think that what it shows is that we as a team, the Row America team, can, can make a fast crew in one year. Um, our team was really small. We had 24 kids, 11 female athletes, and we have you know, five of those athletes are racing here today at Youth Nationals. Um, so I'm really proud of what these girls have accomplished and that they set their goal on Nationals. You know, last year was their first year even knowing that Nationals existed. And now, you know, they were like, we want to get there. And they weren't sure they were going to do it, and here we are. So it just shows how hard the team has worked. Um, the girls that are here, but also the folks that are at home who pushed these girls to get to be this fast. Um, so it's great. Well, you know, that's one of the great missions of Row America is, is hashtag grow the sport, you know, and so I think what's great is that that it can be done. Uh, you know, yeah, it's not Boston, it's not Seattle, but people are gaining that awareness about rowing and about what the sport can offer, both physically, both as, you know, as a community, um, and just the life skills that you learn. So it's been fun to not only watch the team grow uh, in their speed and in their dedication, but watching the community kind of rally around them, uh, watching the kids go to city council and being honored by the city council folks, uh, you know, having the mayor be like, good job coach, or, uh, you know, it's just great to see the community get engaged with the sport um, when they really didn't use the river before. It's, it's crazy. Like, I can't believe that we made it this far. It was our original dream to be here. Like, like let's go to Youth Nats, but it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Like, I still can't believe it. We're excited, but it's also really nerve-wracking. And it feels like all your work kind of paid off. Hopefully, we can just be the first boat to come, and then obviously, we can bring more boats next year and start the tradition. Start the yeah. tradition. Roar!